Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, do the sides. And you will need two pieces of 8.5 by 11 cardstock in your kit. Now oh, I have too many pieces there. And your um, pattern. It's page two of three. You're also going to need your score and cut board. So I'm going to get mine opened up. So we're ready to rock and roll. Now, um, one of your pieces is going to be six and a half by six and three quarters. The other one is going to be six and a half by seven and a quarter. So let's go ahead and cut those first. And I'll let that right there. So my first one is going to be six and a half. So there's my six and a half mark, and I cut that. And you know how I save all my paper. And then the next one is six and three quarters. So I'm going to turn this a quarter of a turn and put it at the six and three quarter mark and cut it. Okay. So while I have this, and so that I don't get confused, I'm going to go ahead and do my scoring. And I will push this, it is six and three quarters. So when you look at your pattern, your six and three quarters should be at the top because that's the side we're going to go ahead and work on first. So our first score is going to be one half of an inch. So we have that marked, which is way cool. And this is not cardstock, but that's okay. And our next score is going to be three and five eighths. So I find the three and then the three and five eighths. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the next one should be six and three quarters. So I will turn this one quarter of a turn this way and then I will use the markings here. So my first mark will be one and five eighths and then I will go down here and I will do four and seven eighths Okay, that will be my top one. So while we are working on the top one, let's go ahead and cut it so that we don't get confused. Now, the easiest thing to do is when we look, we have some slash marks here. These are cut marks. Those are going to be the middle score lines. So I will cut just to the first score line. And you can see, that's all I did. I will turn it around and I will do the same thing on this side. I will cut to the first score line. So then the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to make this notch. And if you look, that's your half inch score. I will cut that and then I will cut that little piece out. So you see what we've done. We've just taken that little piece out. Oops. And we will do it on this, this other side too. So we will cut that and then we will cut that out. So you should have a piece that looks like this. Now, you know me, I like to go ahead and angle all of my pieces. So I'm going to take a little sliver and I don't know if you can see that. It's very, very small, it's triangle shaped. And then I will do the same with this. Okay, so I go ahead and I do all of my cuts. There's one. 
There's two. There's this one and this one I'm going to have to pull. It's okay. And then this. And then I'll do the same on the other side. I just take a very small sliver off of each cut edge. And I'm going to clean up my board <laughs> so that I can do the next side. got a little nasty there we go okay so you can go ahead and fold all of your score marks So now it's easy to tell. This is the one with just the one half inch mark. So the next one we're going to work on, let me get that out of your way. The next one we're going to work on, we're going to cut at six and a half. Let me open up my hinge. I will find my six and a half. And you can see, I'm kind of making sure that it's even on the six and a half line. I don't want to cut it if just one edge is on the six and a half and the other one's clear over here. So that's one way to make sure that you're getting everything square. And then the second size we're going to do is seven and a quarter. So we're going to turn it a quarter of a turn, find our seven and a quarter. And we will cut that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that when we push our paper up, we are on the six and a half inch mark. No, I'm sorry. We want to make sure it's the seven and a quarter. So we didn't have to turn it. You don't have to turn it. Make sure your measure is at seven and a quarter because we're going to score a half an inch. And then a half an inch on this side would make it seven or six and three quarters. So you'll have a half an inch on both sides. And then we will do right in the middle, which will be three, three and five eighths. <coughs> okay, so then we're going to turn it a quarter of a turn and we will make sure that we are at the six and a half inch side. And our first score will be one and five eighths. Our second score will be four and seven eighths. you're done with the scoring. So I'm going to put my scoreboard away for now. I hope you guys are really enjoying this. I thought it was an excellent buy um, for the money. Okay, so this is our second piece. We're gonna do the same thing. We're going to score, well actually, yeah, we're gonna, let's score it first. I'll make it easier to see where we have to cut this one. Oh, and that got a little, my paper got a little cut. It's all right. OK, 
Okay, so when you look at your pattern, you want this piece that you've just cut to look like this one. So we're going to take out the four corners on the half inch side, and that will be like this. I will cut this and this and this and this. Some of you are probably already catching on to shortcuts and that's good. If we were in person, I would be able to gauge how well you're doing and I could tighten things up a little bit. But if you found shortcuts, you go right ahead. I am very happy with that. And then right in the middle, we want to cut these two pieces just to the first score. So it's gonna look like the, the other one. Okay, and again, I'm going to take off my little smidges here. And on the other half inch side. And then I'm going to do all of my cuts, just a smidge, just a little triangle so that when we glue it together, there's nothing binding. That's all this does. It just, it just keeps your sides from binding with whatever it's getting attached to. That's one side, we'll do the other side. Oops, oh, see, when I scored, I actually, I actually pushed too hard. So I will have to tape that. Let me see, I don't, I'm just gonna use brown tape. I am really sorry. The reason that happened is this is just paper. This is not cardstock. And I, I assumed that for the teaching module, it would be okay to just go ahead and use paper just for this teaching module. And so I went ahead and I taped it. Your cardstock won't do that unless you push really, really hard when you're scoring. Okay, so let me get all my goodies. So now we have two pieces. We have the bottom piece and we have the top piece. <clears throat> I might put my pattern away. Okay, I have to think for just a moment. <laughs> So basically what you're going to do is you are going to glue these down and I will let me let me show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to put you on pause for just a minute. Okay, so I had to look at my lesson plans. So what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna make sure that this is the, the half inch is to your left. And we are going to glue these top two pieces down. Let me get my glue. And we will just quickly glue that one down. And we will glue this one down. And you're welcome to glue better than I am because this is just a, a sample module. It's not a big deal. So then the other thing that I'm going to do is I am just going to fold this so that these two, this is going to be our bottom. These two are going to meet. So you are welcome to take a pencil and mark pretty much where your glue is going to go. So I have a small mark right there. I don't want to glue over that. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then I will put this, there we go. Okay. 
we're going to basically do the same thing with this one. It does not matter which side because we're going to glue several of them. Okay, so I will glue this one down. And then I will glue this one down. Remember, since you guys are on YouTube, you're, you're welcome to stop this video and restart it if I get ahead of you so that you can catch up. So there we go. And again, I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom here. I'm going to make a little hash mark so that I know how far to put my glue. And there is my, my line. So I will put my glue inside of that line. And then I will glue this down. Okay. So the next thing you will want to do is you will go ahead and glue one of your drawers to the bottom and then the other drawer and I'm going to glue it on the one with the two sides, the two half inches. You will glue that right there. And then the second drawer that you have, you are going to glue as close to the top with the one that has only the half inch, you are going to glue it as close to the top so that these will close on themselves. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop here because I have to make another drawer. I didn't realize that. So I will have a part one and part two of this also. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Uh, check back with me for the next installment of part two of this.